This is Twit. I would like all three of you, since you all three were at CES, to give me kind of what I always try to do, and it's hard to do with 180,000 attendees, thousands of booths, miles of aisles, spread out, not just not just the Vegas Convention Center, even just the Sands. Sometimes you have to go all the way to Mandalay Bay on the complete other side of town. I mean, it's all over. This is a very difficult... But, but but when you after you've done all that and you've been there for a few days, I'll start with you, Stacy. Is there an overall theme to this year's CES? Anything you you would say oh, is one, a trend? Just one theme? Well, I don't know. Two, if you want. Oh, Jeebus. Um Okay, I there doesn't say, have to be. I mean, no, no. So I I I did see a lot. So taking AI to a more practical place is probably a good way to phrase this, but okay. I was thinking about, you know, AI algorithms around medical devices. So being able to apply intricate, like detailed data and make assumptions and correlations that should mean something to people, I think is definitely a theme. Okay. It is like the most long-winded theme ever. No, but that makes um, a lot of sense. It's kind of what Robert was saying. It's kind of the absorption of what was, uh, uh, you know, chrome plating it was the previous, buzzword. Yep. Yeah, were buzzwords, and now is really kind of integral to many of these products. So I would say yes and no, because I feel like a lot of this is still snake oil. Like, I mean, when I because I'm thinking about the medical space. Granted, the bladder thing, if it's accurate, that is really cool. Um, I, I don't it know. It is because, accurate. Uh, Trust me. I, yeah, I'm like, I'm not, <laughs> I don't have his bladder. So I'm like, it's all right, it's all right. I don't know. But, I'm starting to feel uh, it, yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm probably getting up to I would, six. I think because of that thing, I would have to pee more. <laughs> like, I'd be more aware of it, right? There actually, okay, there is another device that, that was getting, I'm sure the two of you got it. Did you get any of the PR blast for Attain? Is it the one about keeping your butt clean? N oh, no, that should be yes. called a taint. Yes. Oh, it, yeah, it, was, oh, it was to str strengthen your pelvic muscles to deal with incontinence. Oh, I have. Yes, I got yes. There's a bunch of those. Did you get like 50 offers to come and demo the device? Oh, I don't want to oh, demo it. Oh, I didn't get it. any to demo that. It involved no, a I probe, don't... Leo, so... It involved a probe. Yeah. No probes. I can't did test you? any... There was a... It did. Yeah, did you? You did! Oh, oh my God! <laughs> what? Wait, well, I missed that. Wait, what? Did they say... Oh, yeah, of course, a priest would... Did you go it. for the demo? Did you I, take no, the demo? No, no, oh. no, no. Oh, you no, didn't no, do it. No, 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 oh, no, thank no, God. You said no. you did. No. <laughs> yeah, we were like... We were just like, too far, man. Too far. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm cool with knowing what my bladder's doing. I don't have to fix it right Attain. now. Attain. Attain. You can look it up. I can, you can look it Wait, up. Wait, what was the butt cleaning startup? Because I'm real glad I missed that. I We just kept getting pitches for, you know, well, keep that your butt Well, that Kohler yeah. toilet, right? The, the echo-enabled toilet. I we yeah, use Toto's that, a sponsor. Toto, we use Toto. Toto's I love Toto. Toilets were awesome. I wanted all of those. Was Toto there? there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they were there. They actually had a self-cleaning toilet that was really interesting. Mm -hmm. um, so it cleans the you and then toilet, it cleans itself? Yeah. Did exactly. you stop by their booth? The Kohler booth? Or no, the, the, Toto booth? the Toto booth. Yes. So they had one that was facing the, the, uh, the main walkway. And as you would walk by it, the thing would open up both yeah. of the lids. It would start playing like forest sounds and emitted a scent of freshness. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's inviting me. It wants me. Compare I felt that bad walking past. To the new me intelligent toilet that Kohler showed with Kohler Connect. Because that does some of the same things, right? Mm. Um, it No, Toto actually has a way fancier toilet. It's also oh. way expensive. They didn't um, get the attention that Kohler did. So that's because it didn't have a inside the oh. cooler toilet or sorry the toto toilet had hold on i've got to look at the press release for a that because i remember inside. the science the mm. life anew it's called so the toto is uh, technologically advanced in terms of like just toilet things they had the anti-gravity yes. bathtub they have you know their, their toilet that does really uh, cool can i use my kettlebell in the anti-gravity bathtub <laughs> i don't know it depends on how heavy of a weight you put on it right um, <laughs> But yeah, so, so that's what Toto is good at. So Toto had, here we go, a bacteria neutralizing ultraviolet yep. light in a titanium in dioxide fired toilet bowl that initiating right a mm -hmm. photocatalytic process that breaks down even microscopic waste products. UVC. It was a UVC light in the lid. That's what it was. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. So basically you could poop in that thing and later off you could eat out of it is what no, it's titanium. Which I, I, no, I do. I mean, <laughs> Toto did not say that. Okay, it's it called the Acti Light Bowl Cleansing Technology. 
Here it is in action. So I think it makes sense. I mean, honestly. Wait, this toilet? This toilet is $12,800, whereas the Kohler what? toilet was like seven something, I believe. And the zero gravity tub is $18,799. What does the zero gravity tub do? It regenerates it bathers you. by putting them in a meditative state. Uh, uh -huh. No, no, Sherilyn actually was going to tell you what it is. <laughs> I'm still looking at super hydrophilicity in the... Uh, Decomposition power. I don't know. I don't even want to. Oh man! I so this oh, toilet is an X Men. It says it was shaped to simulate a gravityless floating position. Oh, okay. It has hydro hands massaging water jets. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are and you talking about the tub or the toilet? The tub. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> I, I would hope to your tub. toilet does not have massage jets. <laughs> I don't want ultraviolet massaging hands. Oh my God! Oh, here's the tub. It's a flotation <gasps> tub. Oh. But oh, you know what it has? Like An adjustable this. headrest with cascading water yeah, shoulder warmth. Ooh. Okay, that's cool. I would totally use that. This is yeah, that's to, way better than Alexa. Looks like a Cialis ad. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why is my tub in the forest? Okay, so she's, this is showing... She is not in a tub. By the way, I don't, I don't look like that when I'm underwater, just FYI. <laughs> That's the question. Uh, it, it, will it work with Father Robert? Like, if you're dead, maybe you look like that <laughs> underwater. So, wait a minute. I got to go move along in this video because we're doing a lot of simulation. Let's, oh, look, it's an there astronaut. There was an astronaut. <laughs> Deeply stimulating water massage gives the feeling of real hands in your bathtub. No, it really doesn't. It really doesn't. That would be so creepy. I, <laughs> I don't know. want real hands. Oh, my God. Oh. Serial killer time. Uh, <laughs> who's touching my leg? Can you imagine that ad? My God, it felt like real hands. How much is this? Oh, look. You want that, Stacy? I it's do. It's a waterfall headrest. So they say, so on the website, it's $19,000, which is more expensive than what Toto told me in the press release. So I'm kind of feeling a little disappointed. Well, do you but, want the waterfall headset or okay. not? See, this is what it actually looks like in real life. And it's it's just it's a tub. It's a tub. It really. I mean, it's a really. But that's I don't know any of the glamour. Don't you it's want a that? Tub and it has lights. You forgot the color changing lights. Well, I mean, yeah. Or I could just okay. get one of these for like twenty dollars. What's and that? It's waterproof and just float a few of them. And this color changes too. It's that like, is a. It's, uh, it's a like Did a, you build a that? like a, yeah. <laughs> looks like <laughs> looks like a prototype. Uh, this this is what uh, have you ever heard of that uh, that company Empowered? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, so they, yeah, yeah. they, they kind of upgraded their line. They, they originally made these for like camping and for... Because it's got a solar panel on the top. It's all solar It looks powered. like the kind of thing you catch butterflies in. It like does. a little jar, a, a Leiden jar. But it's not. It's a, it's a camp light. It even has a little Yeah, handle. and this is inflatable, so it collapses it's down. <laughs> inflatable? Yeah, th no, this is all... This and then, is all and then what happens? It's a glowy little it's a, I mean, camp it, light. They were really just lights, but now it's Bluetooth enabled because, you know, you need a Q light when you're camping. Oh, nice. I mean, it, it's simple tech like this that I, I really enjoy. I took a lot of this stuff home from CES just because it's stuff that I actually will use. I'll probably drop this off the next time I'm visiting so one of our other countries. Lesson learned, though, uh, from Toto that you should have put, if they, if put, if you put a letter in everything. Yeah. And you'll get press coverage. And waterfalls. I actually talked yeah. to Toto last year versus Kohler. We had them on stage for my smart bathroom panel, um, and the zero flotation tub was already here at last CES. Oh, see, so we I asked them why didn't they put in their products because you know Kohler did it last year, and Toto said that it was trying to be more thoughtful about where it was putting technology in its products, Thank especially you. space and intimate at the bathroom. So they are figuring that out. They're just they're just taking their time and they have so much other tech they want to show off that doesn't really strike some of us as tech tech, right? right. Because a zero right. flotation tub might not be connected to a phone, right. but it is technology that they're trying to show off here at the show. So they have that stuff to show and uh, to them that may or may not be enough. We will see.